Hi guys, today is a review of Polaris Office for Android. Polaris Office is an office suite for viewing and editing documents including Word, Excel and PowerPoint. The office suite supports 13 common file formats including PDF, CSV and ODT. A set of different templates, 2D and 3D diagrams, transitions and shapes as well as formulas for spreadsheets are available to the user. Synchronization between multiple phones and computers, file sharing as well as connection to a cloud service is supported. To share files and sync between devices you must sign into the app. To view, edit and create documents you do not need to sign in or register an account. The Polaris Office Toolkit is comparable to PC Office Editors. You can insert images and videos as well as handwriting which is useful on stylus-enabled devices. The minimum version of Android to install the application is 4.4. You also need at least 260 MB of disk space. The basic version of the app works for free, but contains some restrictions and aggressive advertising. For four and half dollars, the developers allow you to disable ads on your device. For three and half dollars a month, or 35 a year, you can subscribe to a subscription with advanced features, export to PDF, sync with up to nine devices, two gigabytes of cloud storage per device, search in the document and lock the app with the fingerprint, and a 5.3 month or 53-year subscription will remove the cloud storage limit and expand the number of syncable devices to 15. Main Advantages Universal Office Suite for working with various formats, a preset set of templates, diagrams, figures and formulas, handwriting support, low minimum Android version requirements for installation, availability of synchronization between devices and sharing, Main disadvantages, aggressive advertising, high consumption of RAM, uncomfortable navigation. Some of the features are not available in the basic version of the app. High cost of paid subscriptions. Impressions. Polaris Office is a versatile office editor for full-featured work with different files. The application allows multiple users to work together on the same document and synchronize files between multiple devices. At the same time, the app is overloaded with ads and some of the functions, such as searching in a document or inserting an image, work only after a paid subscription. That's all for today. Please give me a like and subscribe if the video was useful. Goodbye!